consolidation of the town. Throughout the 15th century, and above all from 1450 onwards, Eibar enjoyed a period of great prosperity. A boom in trade, the expertise of the blacksmiths, abundant harvests, and an influx of people from the domains of Vizcaya and Guipuzcoa, who settled in the town and married into local families, led to an increase in the population, both within and outside the city walls, and new suburbs sprang up on either side of the Royal Way. The first main expansion of the town was the suburb of Ibarra de Yuso y Arahueta, which emerged on the lands of the Ibarra family and absorbed the lion's share of the increase in population. This area stretched from the bridge of Baran and Calea to Olaondo or Orquizu Aure, on either side of the Royal Way. The Ibarra mill and ironworks were also located there. During the last third of the 15th century, Martin López, and later his son Juan López de Ibarra, began to sell off land for housing. First three houses between the river and the Royal Way were built. These medieval-style houses had a vegetable plot at the back. Construction continued towards Arragueta. This name comes from Arragoa, a kind of stone cauldron in which the iron ore is incinerated and broken down before being passed on to the forge to be turned into steel. And this suburb was situated next to the Ibarra Iron Works. In addition to the Ibarra suburb, other smaller ones appeared, such as Urquizu, next to the stream of Macharia and the Loidi Mill on the other side of the river, Ardanza, at first two houses, then another two, Ulzaga or Suso suburb, which was together with the Barra de Yuso suburb, one of the largest. The houses lined either side of the road that led to Erma on the lower slopes of the hill of Isasi, and included the Ibarra de Ulzaga Tower, the Burgua or Zaga Mill, and the ironworks with the same name. Isasi. Further away from the main town, this suburb, next to the Royal Way, had four houses. Cantoe Barrena, Cantoe Goena, Isasi Barrena or Barrenengua, and Isasi Tower, which owned the mill and ironworks of Torrecua. And finally, the suburb of Otaola, with various houses in the domains of the elder members of the Unsueta family. Thus, if shortly after its foundation, Eibar had 55 houses and 250 inhabitants, in the middle of the 15th century, this number had grown to 930 inhabitants, and by 1499, some 1,450. 450 within the city walls, and 1,000 in the surrounding suburbs. This increase in population resulted in a request for more clergymen, and led to the appearance, in around 1443, of council notaries from Eibar itself, like Juan López de Ucrisu, and Juan Ibáñez de Ibarra. Municipal authority was also consolidated at the expense of the influence of family elders, the wealthiest families with the greatest estates to whom an annual tax had to be paid in return for the use of their land and the lease of their mills. Milling was an activity in which the labour was provided exclusively by women, even though the ownership of the mills was in male hands. The main source of employment for the inhabitants of Eibar at that time was the metal industry. They made nails, hand tools, farm tools, and they specialized in the manufacture of weapons. First swords and knives, and later firearms. By the end of the 15th century, the Basque arms industry enjoyed considerable prestige, with their main customer being the Spanish crown. A network of small workshops was set up, manufacturing shotguns, blunderbusses, muskets and rifles. All this material was then carried along the riverbank to the river port of Alzola. From there, small barges, called cayupas, transported the goods downriver to the port of Deba, to be loaded onto larger vessels, which would set sail for Seville, Flanders. The first written evidence of arms production in Eibar dates back to 1481, 
This text recounts how the Duke of Medina Sidonia placed an order for two Lombards to be made by the Eibar ironsmith Urtuno de Ibarra, gunmaker to the Catholic kings. The Ibarra brothers were capable of making such large caliber cannon in their ironworks in the vicinity of Aragueta. Urtuno de Ibarra was not only the main arms producer in Eibar, however. Together with his brothers, he paved the way for the export of goods made in Eibar to the kingdom of Sicily, which at that time belonged to the crown of Aragon. A few years later, in 1492, news arrived of an event that would mark the fortunes of the Basque economy for several centuries to come, the discovery of the new world. Nails, tools and farm tools would all be needed, and so would arms. All this material would be produced in the ironworks of the Ego River Basin. The now consolidated town began a period of constant progress, which, despite a period of ups and downs in the 16th century, would last until well into the 17th century. 